Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of How To Minecraft. Guys, before this video starts off, I have something so incredible to show you guys. First off, here with a couple very lovely people, but today is going to be a solo episode as per the usual. And it's absolutely lovely. I've been doing some work with my texture pack, my resource pack that you guys now know I use and I've been using for quite some time, put it up for public download quite a while ago. I made some changes and I was looking around because I wanted to alter something to it and I found probably the perfect combination of two texture packs, mine and another one. And I just want you guys to see this real quick, okay? You ready for this? Are you ready for your mind to be blown? I hope you guys all love this. This is what it looks like, the overview of my house, okay? This is the overview of my house. Three, two, one. Now tell me that doesn't just look freaking beautiful. Oh, I love it. So I combined my texture pack with the uh, the lively default texture pack, which I believe, uh, I think Lachlan uses as well. Oh my god, it's absolutely just, it's so vibrant, it's so amazing, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. It's almost like a le it's almost like shaders level in a way. It's so incredible and just it just makes everything look so it makes it pop. It makes it look vibrant as the title says. So I'm going to be keeping this uh, and hopefully you guys like it because I am just ah, oh, I'm in love with it. It makes the beach look so nice and beautiful and the water just looks like crystal. I freaking love it. But anyways, welcome back to another episode of How To Minecraft. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit more uh, work around the place. Now, we had a little bit of a setup here, and we went mining last episode. We got quite a few things. We came back with a little bit less redstone that I had typically preferred, because we happened to keep uh, our own little... Uh, server artifact bob jr the third in his own little area but before this episode starts off um or actually why am i saying that still the episode's already began <laughs> i want to go ahead and place down some furnaces here um i think i'm going to place two on these crafting tables right now and i want to uh, i want to work with this tree right here this is going to be the next tree that i work with i'm going to put some sort of monument on there or some sort of building rather and i want to put a bridge connecting the two of these together uh, but before I do that, let's actually go ahead and just split up the iron and gold real quick here. Since we have most of the iron actually cooked. This isn't my chest room thing. It's just like some for some typical storage. But before we do that sort of building, I do actually want to pay another visit down to... Um, oh, I thought that was going to prevent me from taking any damage. Uh, I do want to pay another visit to the dungeon that is right here by my house. The beautiful, lovely dungeon. Because I feel like it's only... If we raid this dungeon, like, once every couple days or something like that, we'll wind up getting some pretty sick loot. I mean, it's right here, so we might as well take advantage of it. Plus, it's still a bit of a challenge, because I don't know if I recorded this at the same time, uh, or if the last dungeon raid that I did was recorded during this patch. But I want to show you guys, the mob difficulty actually got buffed for, uh, quite a lot of you. Jesus, there's a lot of you guys down here. Holy crap. Uh, the mob difficulty in a way got nerfed and by the way the cool thing about the texture pack too is it really makes like the um surrounding lights look beautiful this is absolutely gorgeous so there let me show you hopefully it's reset because i think we just beat this yesterday uh you have left combat combats enabled commands enabled here let me show you let me show you okay so there are the guys over here you ready for this so we're gonna go ahead and pull them over pull a couple of them over the big bad guy the big bad guy actually has um new abilities almost so these guys these guys die in seconds like there's no question about that and my dodge actually really helps here let me try and pull another one over i gotta be careful it's actually kind of funny because um okay so that's here's the entity now this guy this guy does has some new damages some new hits and some new spells for one he shoots fireballs at you and can also charge at you like this even though i don't think the charge is straight up a new thing oh man ah He's not very hard to beat, because we have pretty much like an overpowered sword. And now, okay, we actually had to drop down here. Do not fall in the water. No, I didn't want you to fall in the water! Frick you. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to... Ouch! Jesus. And he also uh, gives you darkness, as well as... Okay, he's invisible now. What the frick... Okay, well that was uh, a new thing. I've actually never seen that before. I guess there's a few new ones as well. And uh, a cool t thing, too, is I would actually love to see this. We have um, new custom enchants. Yeah, there it is, the lightning storm. We have new custom enchants on here as well. And uh, as per usual, 
The custom enchants can only be obtained via dungeon loots. So I actually did check with Vac, and we all did, that these things can't... Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! I actually thought that was going to do a lot more damage to me than I expected. The lightning creepers was something I forgot about here. Let me just... There you go. You're done, my friend. You are straight up done. And I think that was the last one. Very e... Oh. Well, you're just... You're just there. I guess that was a double hit right there, because we took down more than half his health. We have uh, six new enchants. I think it's six new. Vac tweeted out, and uh, the only way to get them is from dungeon looting. So, let's actually... Dang it! Freaking, come on, my parkour skills better be good than this. I'm not doing this episode to do parkour. I just want to get ultimate armor. We actually have a full diamond, by the way. I popped on the uh, projectile protection to lay uh, that, and as well as a blast protection to chest plate, which actually, I think, helped with those creepers. Um, even though it's not, like, the best armor in the world, it's still full diamond, which, you know, has its own sense of entitlement on its own. And we still have some items here. All right. Here we go. Ready for the loot? Three, two, and one. Hi, Aztec Dungeon. Ooh, okay. Nothing, uh... <laughs> Oi. Alright. Nothing too beautiful. However, that diamond axe. That's a new one for me. So let's, let's do the, uh... The axe right here. Here we go. First one we're gonna... Ooh! That's a pretty good one. Sharpness three, unbreaking two. Okay, it's pretty good, I guess. Nothing too fantastic about it, but it's still an axe. First Iron Sword, that's a Legendary? Nightmares 2, I think that gives them blindness from what I can recall. Next Sword, Fire Aspect, not bad. Now let's do the chest plate here. Three, two, and... Well, that is just absolutely awful. Hopefully the axe can be beautiful. Alright, three, two, one. Are you kidding me? Dang it. Okay, well, I don't think we got any of the new enchants, and uh, our legendary item is pretty crap, to be honest with you. So, I think that's going to do it for the dungeon raids. <laughs> well, that is just upsetting to be straight up uh, <laughs> truthful with you. But anyways, uh, I guess, you know, it's like, we'll probably be coming back to this dungeon, I think, in a couple days. Um, I, I do want to set out and try and find new dungeons as well, but it's just, it's so nice, the fact that it's just, it's right here. It's right next to our home. I'll probably be doing something with it, too. Oh, hello, chicken. Look at how beautiful this looks. I'll probably be doing something with this dungeon, too, uh, and just, like, creating a little waypoint to it, like a little bridge or something, just for easy access and, like, making it an official part of my home. I feel like that would make the most sense. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be doing some building just because I do really want to expand on my empire a lot. And uh, we also really need to... Am I going the right way? Yeah, my home... Yeah, my home's over this way. I was like, is this the right direction? <laughs> Uh, I really do want to expand on my empire, just make the whole thing look absolutely huge and beautiful and all that jazz. It actually, it doesn't look half bad, even with the scenery around it now. Because, like, the texture pack makes this look even better than it really is. Um, I do want to create a stairwell to this, but I have to figure out whether or not I'm going to make this, like, the straight-up entrance. I think so. I think this can be, like, our main island. For a good while, at least, I'd assume. Alright, um... So let... Oh, would you... Oh my gosh, that is absolutely gorgeous. I need a screenshot of this. Look at that. Beautiful. Can I set that as my wallpaper? Like, please? That looks... Oh, I love it. I'm sorry. I'm freaking out. And the cool thing is, too, is it actually gives, like, uh, this orangish tint around the whole world. As you can see, everything's getting its own lighting update right now. The sand has turned orange, and during nighttime, it's going to turn blue, and it's just, oh, it's freaking amazing. I love it. And our gold actually, oh, I guess we went out of the chunk, huh? I was like, how is this not finished? Anyways, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and pop everything that we won't need. Now, here's the thing, too, and I actually want to test this, uh, sorry about my nose as well. I'm trying to battle a little bit of a cold. Um, I do actually want to test something, because I did learn something about uh, MCMMO during uh, my off time between the episodes. Last episode, was it last episode or the episode before? I think it was the episode before. Um, I had tried chopping down one of these tall trees with my iron axe, and it kept splintering. So I wasn't able to get any wood cutting off of it. It came to my attention that apparently the wood cutting works like durability. So you can't necessarily do it with iron if it's low, you have to have, like, a diamond axe, for example, if you're going to be chopping down all that wood. So I want to go over here and uh, try and find a couple really tall trees on the off chance, because we are going to need to tear down quite a bit of trees to just have enough building blocks for this whole thing, because 
We're going to be making most of our island out of wood. And also a bit of, uh... Oh, that looks beautiful over there. And also a bit of, um... What you call it? Leaves as well. Because someone did tell me that I should be using leaves for this, which was a very good shout. So I'm thinking right around here is pretty much where the limit where I'll never actually reach in my island. I don't think ever. And if we ever need to, we can just plant more trees. So let's just go ahead and try and find the tallest one we can chop down. And I'm thinking, ooh, you look like a tall one right here. Let me see. Is it around here? In fact, all the mobs actually look pretty colored too. That's kind of funny. I don't know if that's intentional, but... Here, let me try chopping down uh, this giant tree right here. You ready, your axe? Actually, is this a tall enough tree to do it on? Is this worth it? Yeah, I guess it's worth it. In fact, huh? Someone might have already tried. Let's go ahead and see if this works. Ready, your axe? Oh, beautiful. I love it. Wood cutting tree increased by two. Damn, and we just got... How many... Do we have all this jungle wood? I guess so. We just got like 85 jungle wood. That's nuts. And I guess it'll take... How much longer will it take to actually have this back up? 222 seconds. I don't think that actually changes, and I think that's the cooldown for every ability. So, hmm. So I think that's... And it doesn't actually get rid of the leaves faster, too. Because I know in Mad Pack, when you shift mine a tree, it'll actually get rid of all the leaves, but... I guess that's Mad Pack. <laughs> oh, man. The Aztec... What is this? The Aztec Temple? Is that what it's called? Yeah, the High Aztec Temple. Oh, that looks so cool in there. I kind of want to... Um, I think the next dungeon that I'm going to do is going to be the... Um, uh, what is it? I think we've called it the North Wall Dungeon. It's like the... It, Vic's gone in it. Rob's gone in it. Lachlan's... It's like the one right in the hills. You guys know what I'm talking about. That one. I really want to go inside that dungeon and try and beat it. Because I know it's going to be a bit harder of a one. Especially with the fact that, number one, the mob API got updated. And number two, um, there's skeletons in there. There's skeletons that'll shoot you down. So... I have a feeling that one would be a lot more difficult. And you know what's interesting too? I think I was looking for this the first episode um, when I streamed it originally. I don't think any melons actually naturally spawn in this area. Because I, I know it's natural or it's a uh, custom terrain generation. But I don't think melons were actually added in here. So to get melons, I think we'd have to get melon seeds out of, uh, what you call it? Mineshaft chests. Interesting. Okay. Well, um, let's actually look back up and see how much raw, uh, how much, uh, oak wood we have. Because that's not something we can easily get here. Let's see. Where's our oak wood chest? I think it's this chest right over here. Yes, okay. So we have... Uh, oh, well, actually, no, we have a ton of oak wood. In fact, it was jungle wood that we needed a lot of. Beautiful. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put away our, uh, some valuables in here. We'll get our chests organized at a different time, but for right now... I'm thinking, let's get the chest room set up, just because, hmm. Yeah, I think a chest room will be most valuable, to be honest with you. We have our power to bow still, which really hasn't done much for us at all. We don't have any arrows on us, interestingly enough. Hmm. Could we, uh, let's grab some arrows real quick, just in case anything decides to shoot us. Where are our arrows? There's Roger. Still have yet to uh, na rename Roger. I really need to do that and put him in an item frame. Back from episode one. Um, no arrows, no arrows, no arrows, none, none, and none. Do we not have any arrows on us at all? Oh, I think it was because... I think I was fighting a dungeon. And, uh... Oh, yeah, I was fighting a dungeon and I had to shoot a ton of arrows at the guy because he fell down into the water and I was above him. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, so let's go ahead and swap power two bows just to one that's a little bit more durability. And uh, there's a twisted sword. absolutely love that thing. So here. I'm thinking... Here's what we can do is we can build on that tree right there a little thing and some people were also telling me it would be a good idea not chop down all of these and kind of just like build around it that's what i want to do but sometimes it does get in the way so i'm thinking we could build there and then we could get um what should we call it we could get a a bridge moving between it after we've built it. So let's go ahead and stack up everything that we're going to need. We'll obviously need a lot of oak wood. Let's just take all of our oak and jungle wood. Uh, and our slabs and all that. Our fences, our sticks, that, our leaves. Pretty much like all of our building supplies. Hmm. Uh, is there anything else we're going to need in here? We have our axe. We have that. Maybe the shears will help us in case we need to get rid of some leaves. I'm thinking... Uh, yeah, I think with that, we should pretty much be good to go. So let's just go ahead and hop. Oh, I do have arrows on me. I guess I had seven. I guess I was looking for more. And you know what's interesting, too? I don't really think items despawn in this. Because those... 
Those, uh, <laughs> um, wood planks down there have been there for freaking ages. Can I get a pearl? Yay. All right, and our sword skill just increased to level 100. In fact, actually, uh, MC, wait, what was it? MC top. Here is, uh, on the right side, the MC MMO scoreboards. We are number three, just two levels higher than Vic. Uh, and TBR Kenworth is number one, as well as Choco is right above us as well. Pretty much all within... Uh, a lead, and then once you get lower to, like, uh, Tyler and stuff, it gets a little bit lower in the ranks. But uh, I can say that Lachlan, Rob, and Preston are all because they are off um, in Texas at the moment. So, you can't really blame them necessarily. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, what we can do is, what would be a good level to do this at? I'm thinking this can be the roof right here. So if we go ahead and make this, hmm... So I need, to, I need to think for a second. I need to think for a second. Let's get uh, our oak wood planks out at the moment. Yeah, let's get our oak wood planks, our jungle wood, as well as our slabs. So I'm thinking if we put the roof right here, this is our roof. We we'll want the floor to be one, two, three. Hmm. What if we do the floor right about here? Would this be a good level for the floor? And then the roof is like right about... I'm thinking this is a good level for the floor. Okay. And then from here, we'll want to extend a little bit out uh, this way to kind of make this part of the air, like closer to the bridge. Because this can work really well if I do it diagonally. I'm not sure if I want to do it diagonally or cut corners. Like, do it like an L shape. So, like, straight off from there to there and then here. Yet to decide that, actually. Hmm. First things first. Let's go ahead and chop down uh, at least... The parts of this that will more than likely be getting in the way. And I really need to make sure that when I'm working with this, I don't accidentally uh, uh, right-click and mine. Because then I'm going to chop down this whole tree, and that would kind of really suck. Thankfully, our vein miner is not a thing in this. I've really been getting into mad packs, so it's kind of almost freaky uh, how many things I relate to that. So let's do... Um, here's what I'm thinking. We can do slabs around here. And let's figure out how wide... Oh, shoot. God dang it, that's gonna really fuck us up. And our repair skill, what did, oh, I think it was the fur, oh, it was the furnaces that let up our repair skill. And by the way, look at this, the sunsets, or the sunrise is coming up and everything has this beautiful orange tint to it. I hope it looks as good in uh, the video as it does on my screen because, holy crap, this just looks gorgeous. I am in love. For people that have been uh, subscribed to me for a little while, they know I love to freak out about visual things. And I think it has to do with, um, I've actually, uh, I've been a photographer, and I took photography classes, ow, look at this, this guy's green, he's green because of the coloring, that is fantastic. Uh, I used to take photography classes, and I did for, I think, uh, what was it, like three years? And I've done a lot of uh, cinematography work as well, so I kind of have a little bit of an act for like that perfect screenshot and that perfect, you know, photograph. Um, I say screenshot like in Minecraft relation, but you know that perfect photograph and just making everything look beautiful. All right, so that actually went one higher than we would prefer. We got to figure out because we want to make this wider, wider than square. So we want to make it like a rectangle. Um, this obviously, how far out is this? One, two, three, four. So one, two. Yeah, we're gonna need to get rid of this and then chop that down right there. We can't grab that, unfortunately. The thing about this, too, is these builds are going to be rather simple. Um, when you make stuff just out of, you know, a very few amount of blocks, because obviously we can do more blocks in the future, but you want to keep sort of like that treehouse feel to it. Once you do that so often, it's kind of like, uh, how should I say, you know, you can only work with very few, so all, the, all of these are going to look relatively the same. Not too much the same, but, you know, to an extent, I should say. So, oop. Go ahead and bring that up from there. All right. And then ugh, working with slabs is never something I've been good at. I'm just not good at getting like that very high top pixel. Uh, okay. Anyway, so I'm thinking from here, is this a good size for this place? Um, I think... Because this is going to be... Hmm. We could actually make this one bigger. Let's make this one bigger. Uh, extend this outward. In fact, do we have any more slabs? Or are we going to have to... We're going to have to actually create a bit more slabs, aren't we? Yes, indeed we are. Oop. Go ahead and do that. I really should be using numbers instead of scroll wheels. Uh, let's go home. 
<laughs> little teleport command right there. I use the crafting tables that we got here. So I really don't want to use crafting tables unless I have to. Or place down, rather. So it just gets annoying, in my opinion. Alright. Choco's on here. We got a little bit of a party going. Not too much, but you know, a fair party. <laughs> Hashtag water temple hype. Did Choco get a water temple? Very nice. Or someone might have. Not sure who. Alright. Oh, he just logged on to say that. Well. Uh, oh, I think it's uh, Vic and Matt that got a water temple. Pretty sure. Now, how the hell am I going to be able to get up this? Um, shears. Same way as before. Same thing that we did before. Let's go ahead and take out a couple of these. And we'll place the vines down. I want to get, like, the spiraling staircase going in a few. But for right now, I guess this is what we're going to have to work with. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and move this around the sides here. Make this look quite a bit bigger. Because I love building in uh, jungles. I never used to. I don't have any practice inside jungles with building, but I can tell you, it just looks... I've loved it. Every little step that I've taken to build inside this jungle makes it just look... Oh, it's beautiful. I love it so much. Um, let's go ahead and send the plank. Does this look weird, the fact that I use planks for the walkway and then... Actually, that doesn't look bad. Huh, it doesn't look bad that I use planks here and then slabs here. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do is actually surround this whole area in jungle wood like this, and this will be the basic outline. Ooh, there's a... Ooh, that's a deep ravine. We might do something with that. Oh, I'd love to. I actually didn't know if that ravine even existed, but that is cool. There's a little lava pool over there. Just this whole texture pack looks, it kind of makes everything look weird almost because of the lighting, but it does make, it looks gorgeous nonetheless, let me tell you. Okay, and then from here, we're unfortunately gonna have to get rid of this, uh, but thankfully we won't have to get rid of the leaves on top, which is very nice. However, we will have to chop down uh, this here. I'm thinking we'll have to chop down one more as well. Yeah, we'll have to chop this down here. Because we don't want this obstructed. Um, <laughs> it's kind of cool how that, I, that even hangs over. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then from here what we can do is... I'm thinking... Let's place jungle wood like this. And then one, two, and three. Get rid of that there. And then here we can place some jungle wood doors. Uh, probably would be a good idea just to place on... Oh, we already have four crafting tables. I didn't know we actually had those. Huh. Let's get some uh, jungle doors going. Oh, no, that's oak. Because I actually haven't seen... Well, I haven't used jungle doors in anything. Alright, I got three of... Ooh. This looks interesting. Um... Huh. That looks... Kind of funky fresh, in a way, to be honest with you. I'm not sure if I like it. But... I mean, it's it's okay. Then we can do jungle fences around the edges here, and then... See, I kind of had a general idea of what I wanted to do before the episode started, so, you know, I wasn't completely like, you know, oh, what am I going to build? But I haven't actually practiced this build or executed it. Alright, and then I think this is going to look good, so long as we do it right. And if we put one up there, there... Oh, that hot building. That hot building hype, though. Look at that right there. Oh, beaut... Damn, man! I should be in the freaking Olympics! Oh, spoke too soon. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous hot building right there. Uh, we could actually get on top of here, which we're going to need to do in a bit. Yeah, we could have got on top from right about here. And let's see how this looks from outside. How does this... You know, this doesn't look half bad. And then I think I know what I want to do for the roof. Let's see. Hop, final hop worked out perfect. Now this... I'm sorry. You might look beautiful to some, but I'm going to have to get rid of you. Overhanging vines... It's not going to work for the actual room. And sorry, once again, I guess I'm trying to fight off a little bit of a cold. Allergies are coming around, so I, if that if that's bothering anyone, I am very dearly sorry. Um, okay. And by the way, some people might also be wondering why I put my doors like this. I actually prefer the way it looks if you put it on the outside rather than... Because normally, it could either look like that or it would look like this. I prefer it on the inside since it adds a little bit more... Um, I guess, how should you say architectural pizzazz that's my pizzazz is my word for today <laughs> um i think personally this looks a lot better so here's what i think we can do for the roof let's um create oh we actually have a lot of jungle wood slabs anyway okay so we'll do slabs for the roof like this and then we can do it um hmm. do we want to do it climbing all the way up or do we want it to just be I'm not actually sure how we want to do this styling here we are going to have to chop down... Aw, oh, are we going to have to chop... Hmm. 
Sad days. At least it won't look too wonky, because it will line up in the same place. Because, here's the thing. Ooh. I removed the wrong thing there. Let me go ahead and place that back. Ugh. Last time, or in our other home, we did it going all the way up. I'm thinking for this one, let's just do it. Here's my idea. If we just do it like this, and then do this for the whole layer here, because I have a feeling that it, the fact that this is square, doing it the whole way up might look a little bit strange. And how the hell did I do that? Okay. Once again, slab placement is not on point. Squad goals, nowhere near what it needs to be. Okay, and then from here, all right. How does this look? This is, uh, not half bad. Actually, uh, I think here's another thing that I want to do. Let's actually place the slabs around the edges here. Yeah, I think this might make it look a little bit better. Can we actually, do we have enough? Please tell me we have just, I think we have just enough. Oh, we cut it close, but we did. Beautiful. Okay. Now how does... Oh man, dang it, parkour! Ugh. How does this look now? This looks, I love this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot for sure. Then we got our little room in here. Now this uh, is meant to be a chest room for right now. I wanna try something though. What if we, this is all experimental right now, but I wanna see if this would look good. Cause we have some leaves. Oh, Vic's out for right now. I don't know what he's trying to do. Oh, no, he's back. We have some leaves here. What if we do this? Get a little bit of some extra texture around here? How is this going to look? How does this look? This looks... And then what if we, with that done, then... I'm not sure how I'm digging that. What if we just remove this entirely? Get rid of the layering altogether. I think it... Hmm. How does this look from the outside? That doesn't look half bad. I think... Hmm. How does this look on the interior? Like, do I like this? I think I do. There's no... Hmm. What if we now... Okay, I have another idea. I have another idea. So right now we're just trying to get the perfect roof going. What if we... The joys of having a diamond axe even while not using creative. What if we do it like this? How does this look? Okay, that looks wonky. That looks wonky for sure. But then what if we take out these leaves and put the leaves... I think that looks better. Actually, uh, oof. I don't know if it does. What about this? No, because it kind of... Nah, you know what? I've tried, I've tried layering. I have. And then I've tried doing it just uh, flat down. And I'm pretty sure flat down is our winner. It doesn't look too dimensional. But I think with the leaves, it actually does make it look a little bit better. And then I've got an idea for the outside as well. What if we, uh, okay, so let's just do it like this then. Oh, oh god, everything's starting to look orange. Our oak, our wood is changing! The wood is changing, oh no! It's changing colors, it actually doesn't even look like oak wood anymore, it's amazing. Oh my god, this looks so strange. Let's actually light this up with a little bit of artificial light from some torches and make it look a little bit, oh, make it look a lot more natural. There we go, so not, now everything's not as orange. That actually looks really strange, huh? Do we actually want to remove... I think we should remove this. Eh. We can leave that for right now, to be honest with you. Um, here. Torches right there. Torches right there. There we go. It's lit up a bit more now. Uh, and now on the outside, here's the last final touch. Of, oh, that looks so beautiful. Here's the last touch that I want to do. I should really be building with leaves. Yeah, let's actually chop this down here. Build up with leaves. It's a lot easier to break. Okay, I can't actually get on top from here, but I can get on top from over here. There we go. And then, so it a, gives a little bit more of a prettier layer around the outside. A little bit short. Are we just short? 
We are just short. Okay, let's put a crafting table down here, get a few more slabs. In fact, let's just get a good amount of slabs, because I do want to do the inside as well. Yeah, okay. Do it right there, and then we'll do it along the entrance here as well. So this is going to look a lot better from the outside, if anyone was to, for some strange reason, view it from the top. And there's actually no blocks. <sighs> we have to break into this, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay. And then chop you down, put two right there, place the jungle wood back, and then place the leaves back like nothing ever happens. This looks beautiful. Huh! Ugh, just got it. How does this look? This looks gorgeous. I love this. I am in love with this design. And you know what? The room's not very big, but you know what? Do you really need a big room? I don't think you do. I don't think you really need a big room at all. This looks lovely. I love this. I am... Oh, this looks nice. This looks nice. So let's think here now. How do we want to connect these? Because we could do... Hmm. Dude, I don't even know. How do I want to... How do I want to connect this bridge to do it around? Um... I have no idea. Because, I mean, because right now, right now we have, um, you know what? Give me one second. I actually need to shut my door real quick before we keep going. My apologies for the uh, hashtag unprofessional, and now it is raining. Oh, I've actually never seen this texture pack with rain. Okay, the rain actually doesn't look all that different. Okay, but it still looks good, nonetheless. And we still want our thing to be English. That is very true. So in the music of sound, let's turn the weather all the way down. How do we want to, uh... Oh, the bridges are gonna be a thing of complication, aren't they? Because, I mean, you could... <sighs> you know what? Let's at least finish off this room for what it's supposed to be. And, uh... Yeah, it was kind of funny. Our last chest room was made with a ton of redstone. In fact, actually... I could do two chest rooms. But doing redstone in this area... That looks good. That looks good. I'm gonna have to do the same underneath thing with it. Where I make it, uh, I put slabs around the edge so it's kind of like that on top there to give it a little bit more dimension. Because we have the same problem with here. The bottoms are too flat. I think that's my only issue. So I think what we can do is, um, yeah, let's just get a lot of wood and make a ton of chests. In fact, actually, let's split up all this jungle wood here. I can just uh, go off on my own and chop down a ton of tall trees and have a lot of room. Okay. Jungle wood, all the jungle wood in the freaking world we could ever ask for. Let's do three more. Can we? Do we have enough for that? I think we should have enough for one more chest. Yes, we do. Okay, 24. Freaking 24 chests, man. We're freaking crazy. All right, latch onto those vines. Got our legendary sword and I've entered combat. Commands are now disabled. I mean, we have a way to get up both of them, but it's not, not the style that I'm going for. So let's see. If we do two like this... Two like that, and one there. And then if we do two like this... Actually... Two right there, and then one there, and then two here, and then one there, two here, and then two here... Yeah, this looks good. I mean, I couldn't do double chests all the way around, which is unfortunate for sure. Um, hmm... And the only problem is, too, is when it rains, it kind of drips in. But I guess it's a little... I kind of like that, too. I kind of like that. I don't know why. It's just... It's quaint, in a way. So, uh, I think for this right here, we kind of have our chest room, like, pretty much done. Now we can start moving things in. The only thing that we'll need is uh, some leather from cows. In fact, actually, I want to check something. Uh, warp shop. Do we have any... Can you buy leather from here, or do we have to get cow farms? I think, oh, and there's melon seeds in the shop. Okay. Um, let's see here. I don't think you can actually, you can't buy leather. You can't really buy any farming materials at all. You can't buy brewing, you can buy nether stuff? Oh, and glass too. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go back to warp, uh, or just slash home. Okay. And then from here, I think actually, let's, um, let's fix up our roof for this as well. So let's, um, here. What do we want to do? Let's go all the way off. This is going to be a rather long episode, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Let's go all the way off um, 
over yonder this direction here and just we're just gonna strip down one tree and all of its leaves all of its leaves are just coming off naked browned into the ground i don't even know what that meant ground town like china brown no idea what i'm even saying at this point i'm just making up rhymes to be honest with you probably coming off racist somehow <laughs> i have no idea what i'm saying so please don't don't look into it um let's just do this tree here i actually do a couple more trees as well here make this tree look ugly and the fact that we've only got 38 more blocks and we can break with our shears which is unfortunate probably should have made new shears before i did this god dang it uh god dang it okay and then let's just Chop down the rest of this here. Get the leaves. There we go. How many do we have? Two stacks. Should be enough. We can grab that one little extra leaf right there on that parkour. Beautiful. And let's do slash home. And then here's what I want to do. I want to do that one thing that people were telling me to do or that someone actually recommended. Originally, I was going to do glass with this. But then when someone thought to me, like, Pete, Brandon, make it look natural. Do it with leaves. I was like... You know, that's really actually not a bad idea. So I don't know if we'll have enough to actually do all of the layers for this. But after we do this, I think we're going to end off the episode. I'll try and figure out which way I want to do the bridge next. And probably try out and f try and find some cows. Because we also need to get some sky farms too. Like, we're going to be doing everything in this jungle, man. We got to do, like, you know, villager homes. Um, we got a lot of stuff to do. A lot of things to do. And I am so excited for this series. H2M is so much more hype than HDM. I mean, obviously, HDM was hype in its own because it was new. But with the plugins and custom enchants and stuff, this is just so much more crazy. I love it. And I probably should have, uh... Now, does this look good? Do I like this? Yeah, I think this was the way that I was going to have it before. Okay. And then this should look good from the outside as well. Yeah, I think I already am in love with, uh how this looks. Oh, this looks beautiful. Alright, place. Oh! Oh, shoot. Um, let's just take a little bit more iron and, uh, here. Where's, a, where's some of our iron? Let's create another shear. Because honestly, we don't want to lose any leaves that we don't have to. There we go. Because we got a very large amount of iron now, which is awesome. That mining trip was definitely worth it. It's always good to have a good amount of resources. At least within the first few episodes when you're doing a series. Alright. Do that on the edges here. We might actually have enough to do the interior as well, because I don't think this is going to take more than a stack. In fact, I think it'll take just about a stack. No. Nope. In fact, it might have actually j taken exactly a stack to do that. And this looks... interesting, for sure. We have to do the inside to actually see if it counted. And if it doesn't look all that good, I'll fix it off camera. But I think I like this. It's like we're living in a tree, basically. Because... Well, quite honestly, we literally are. <laughs> All right. And then I think this is... Yeah, there's no more layers after this. So once we chop this down and check out the tree, see how it looks from here. In fact, maybe the rain can go away by the time we're done with this. Let me do it around here. Excellent. And we actually don't have to worry. It's funny. We don't have to worry about getting those slabs up there because items like... They almost never freaking despawn in this server, man. It's crazy, and I don't know why, but... I don't know. That's a little bit weird. Anyway, how does this look? This looks... Not bad. I think the only thing is... The layering looks a bit thick. In fact, does this look good at... Do I like this? I mean, from the outside, it looks beautiful. From the inside... I think I do. The only thing I'm interested in is what if we layer it one lower to kind of give a bit more of a gradual lowdown look. Make it keep it the same from the outside, but on the inside, because it is lo it did look like it was going down by one block, and it looked a bit too dramatic. Does that look better? I think that looks better. And then from here, we can do the same thing in the middle. Okay, so how does this look now? I think it looks good. I think. I need... I need you guys' thoughts. Does this look better than before? Because I think in some ways it does, in some ways it doesn't. 
I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of H2M. If you did, and if you are loving the resource pack now, I'll try and figure out a download link, um, even though this is just a combination of my own and um, Vibrant Minecraft or whatever it is, like Enhanced... Um, I think it's Vibrant Minecraft is what it's called. Or um, Vibrant Natural or something. Something along those lines. Um, I'll try and figure out a download link. I don't know if I'll be able to get the other person's permission. But, so what? Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave some support. If you like the texture pack, definitely do as well. And uh, apart from that, I guess I'll catch you guys for the next episode of H2M. When we do some other fun stuff. Maybe building, maybe adventuring. Probably adventuring, but we'll see. Take care, guys, and I'll catch you then. Ciao!